welcome to Backish Some Sal. I'll be there. I'm Ben. So we've been doing spooky books this month of October, because Halloween is at the end of the month. So let's talk about some more spooktacular stories. Yeah, building up to yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. I did, I, and I, I picked the least spooky, spooky DC Comics <laughs> event I could think of. Underworld Unleashed. Mm. Underworld Unleashed is so spooky, it has a gimmick cover, which you can't really tell from this printing, but I promise you, you see how this like fluorescent green yeah. is on the cover? It's, right. it's it's littered throughout the book. Is it supposed to be wow. glow in the dark? It's like a, I don't recall if it glowed in the dark or if mm. it was just, I think it was just fluorescent. It, it is was, very bright It green. was very vibrant and it's supposed to give you this like sense of otherworldly fire. Yeah, ethereal. Yes. Mm. It's supposed to make you feel like, oh, that's different. Right. Also, it's a gimmick and it's the 90s, so it's supposed to get you to give them money. It's fire. Right. Is it working? Are you talking about Green Flame? Green Flame? Not to be confused with the Green Lantern Superman book that Tiffany hosted on this show. <laughs> Green Lantern Superman Legend of the Green Flame. Green Flame? No. No. There is a lot of Green Flame in this book, though. Okay. Uh, so this... Before we even talk about this story, I want to talk about the story around this story because <laughs> okay. it's hilarious. Uh, and As in how it came about? Exactly. Okay. And, and it's not the least bit spooky or scary, mm. but this story does take us to hell. Oh. I don't want the story around a comic to be scary. Right. Yeah, that like if someone happen. had a harrowing no, experience. That would be cool. That would be the fun part. Be of terrifying. Like, so it's like you get to this point where a character like does something like odd and you're like, that's because they died. Mm. Like while that happened. And you're like, oh, that's... Jeez. No, I'm sure there's <laughs> plenty of that, but let's not do that. That's morbid. <laughs> Underworld Unleashed is written by Mark Wade and Scott Peterson with art by Howard Porter. At least the main event was. Mm. Underworld Unleashed is three chapters. It's three books. And 54 tie-ins. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. It, that's actually 54 tie-ins? I thought you were just picking a large, ridiculous number. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> because Holy Underworld crap. Unleashed is one of those things where they were like, put it in all of the books. Oh, it's like right. they have their own thing and they're like, oh, and... Underworld Unleashed is going on right over right. there. I'm guessing it's zombies Classic. or whatever, and they just—it's not zombies. No, them. it's okay. not. It's not one of those. So <laughs> no, the, clearly it's vampires versus werewolves. It's not that either. <laughs> what vamp? Oh yeah, because of Underworld. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So 1995, Mark Wade is tasked with the unenviable job of trying to make DC's villains cool, because. It's 1995. Oh, and Spawn's out there, so like... Spawn exists. Right. If it's not Violator, who cares? Well, that's that's fair. I mean, it's fair for them, business-wise, to maybe think that. Right. Because the image is making a huge splash, and DC is left in third place. Right. And so they're they're looking at their at their villains, at their challenges for their for their heroes, and they've run out of gimmicks that involve killing the heroes mm. so what do we do let's try to revamp the villains and they decided to make it into an event to make the villains cool <laughs> so they asked mark wade and mark wade did he he was a dutiful servant he did the hack job but very well <laughs> what he discovered during his hack research for <laughs> this for this job was that he actually ended up liking these characters and enjoying <laughs> their their characterization. Is that why we got so many tie-ins? No, no. We got that the tie-ins to sell this event wow. and propagate the revamp of all the villains. Everyone's villains are getting revamped. But what Mark Wade discovered in this hatchet job of let's make the villains cool is that they didn't need to be cool. They needed good writers to do something cool with them. Mm. So oh, he's writing mean, this event. Good comics. Yeah. yeah. So he's writing this event that's th whose job it is to basically say, "We know all the characters at DC are lame and stupid, but I promise you, once we change every aspect of their character, you will like them." But then Mark Wade had like this Grinchian change <laughs> of heart halfway through writing this damn thing and was like, "No, wait a minute." <laughs> Now, the other thing that's interesting about this event is that a year prior, Marvels, written by Kurt Busiek with art by Alex Ross, came out. Mm -hmm. And Marvels was not only, you know, incredible and a big change and shift in the comics world for the big two, from Marvel particularly, but, you know, it influenced DC obviously as well, because everybody talks about how, like, Marvels and begat Kingdom Come. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're not wrong, but... 
if you want to thank the progenitors of Kingdom Come, you got to thank a couple other people, including Alan Moore for pitching a story arc slash event called Twilight of the Superheroes, which is ridiculous, and maybe one day we'll talk about it, because his pitch is online, you can just read the whole mm. thing. And you could read Alan Moore's hilarious like notes, which say things like, we could turn this into t-shirts or action figures, a dual <laughs> coin. Alan Moore the hack is right. a fascinating character to read. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, the other thing you have to thank for Kingdom Come is Underworld Unleashed. The stupid, terrible, who gives a shit, forgotten DC event, which hmm. is turning 25 this year. Oh. And so the 25th anniversary edition of this is actually coming out in November. So I'll put a link in the description below wow. this video for you to pick it up. For some reason, they abandoned the font choice, by the way, on the cover. Oh, I can't imagine why. I know, it's completely great. iconic and timeless. <laughs> but Wonderworld. <laughs> Underworld Unleashed inspired Mark Wade because at the time, Mark Wade was just like a flash writer. And he was given this opportunity to revamp the villains. Yeah. And in his research realizes they don't need revamping at all. These characters are around for a reason. Like, just because they're lame doesn't mean that they don't have value. Right. And they're lame right. because we've made them lame. Right. Right. We're writing or we, them or we lame think right they're now. lame. Yeah. And so we are informing our own problems. Mm. Also, it's interesting that we think they're lame but we keep using them anyway mm -hmm. like if they were so lame how come we keep referring back to them you know mm -hmm. what i mean so mark oh, it's wade, like you have an ingrained history or something yeah so mark wade is like okay marvels which is interesting because marvels uh is actually more like a modern contemporary look at the original history of marvel yeah right it's through the lens if you will of contemporary criticism and values at the 60s simplistic here is marvel whoop de doo <laughs> of stan lee uh -huh. and yet it's when mark wade decides to make kingdom come with alex ross that we get the exact opposite of marvels mm. something that's enduring and everlasting and says no we actually need to look back and find reverence for these heroes instead of looking at them cynically mm -hmm. and contemporarily or giving it modern contemporary stylistic affectations but still not losing the heart and the core of those characters right and so you don't get kingdom come without underworld unleashed and mark wade being like oh dc isn't lame it's just old he had to use it. He had to research all those villains all in order these to write this book. Dumbass villains. And he, he learned a little something. Yeah, along the way. Along the way. <laughs> and so I think the story kind of reflects it, but also it's like, well, we were already neck deep in the premise of this. So just because you grew a conscience and a heart for these characters, I mean, we're still not going to do. Yeah, it. we got to finish that story, though. Right. And so it kind of, <laughs> it kind of just, it just, it's kind of farts. Yeah. And lingers. Yeah. It's just like so many events. <laughs> yeah, where you're like, oh, that's it. Right. Yeah. There. Yeah. It, it, what do you think? Well, it, did it actually change the villain? It was supposed to change the villains, right? Did yes. it really? Technically, it did. Okay. But, but like, how? Well, I'll In tell ways you that how. I would recognize? Absolutely. Okay. No, right. well, oh, it wouldn't last. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this no. Is, this does not create a new status quo for villains that. That no. continued through no. the modern oh, age. No. Oh, okay. oh no! Oh okay. no! No! And it's just not like just a revamping of their costumes; like they look different. No, that's exactly. Well, it. that's well, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and well, also what's they, the point well, if you're not going to redo the costume? You got to do the costume change, and also like you know they want to kill people now instead of fight them or or, or steal from them. Oh, that's it. I see. It made them more hardcore. Bingo. So Mark Wade, obviously Flash writer and working on this event, he's not going to not use characters that are in desperate need of a revamp. And if you need to look at a rogues gallery that a cynical 90s comic book writer might think needs a revamp, you need look no further than the Flash's rogues gallery, which calls themselves the rogues gallery. <laughs> That's what they call themselves. That's what they call themselves. Oh. We're, and we're as, an actual rogues gallery. As I was Why wouldn't we? I was explaining this to Tiffany, and she was like, you can't call yourselves the thing you are. <laughs> and I'm like, you can do that once. They're like, we're the rogues gallery. Eventually, they would drop the gallery moniker and just go by the rogues. We're the rogues. And I'm like, I don't that's know if that's better. Almost better. But still, F you. 
Right. So the rogues <laughs> gallery right. has been visited by a higher power, a new bad guy who is coincidentally on the cover of this event. Mm. And we'll talk about him in a minute. But the, the rogues have been introduced to this new premise and they were offered an opportunity to do something awesome in exchange for doing something seemingly mundane. And mm -hmm. so each member of the rogues, of which there are five, go to a strategic location and blow it up. So the rogues each hit a strategic location, seemingly innocuous and unconnected. Okay, right. please refresh right. me. Who is the Flash Rogues Gallery? Who are yeah, the rogues? Well, who are these people? Who are the rogues? Captain Boomerang. Yeah. Right. Captain Cold. <laughs> We've got uh, Mirror Master and Weather Wizard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you think that's lame? <laughs> well, let me introduce you to the Rainbow Raider. The Rainbow Raider? What? Yes, the Rainbow Raider. He's He shows up later. Okay. But I thought I'd ch cut to the chase that's right. like and reference another Flash <laughs> villain called the Rainbow Raider. That's almost like the Green Lantern or the, the Spectrum Cores yes. oh. villain. Right, right. He should I'm be. I'm the Rainbow Raider. Yeah. <laughs> Who's literally just colorblind. And uh, his name is Roy G. Bavolio. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Does he no. hate all colors because he can't see them or something? <laughs> He he is resentful of his color blindness. Yeah. I will make the world gray. He, he, Me no. and dogs get along really well. <laughs> he should have a dog psychic. It would really it, it, it would it would make him more sympathetic. And heat wave. Ah. The Captain Cold and Heat Wave. That's right. Yeah. You got you got hot and cold. Right. Okay, and there's Weather Wizard. You got three element based people. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's true. That's a lot. They should call themselves. Weather <laughs> Wizard should just be like, I can do both of you guys. Right. <laughs> what, what? You're you're well, both. Well, you can't pull that thread because like, why is Superman a member of the Justice League? I'm I'm half of you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, but they don't speed, have I got these that. powers. That's the thing. That's true. So they they hit these installations. By the way, at the behest of another villain known as Abracadabra. You can see how it's like Mark Wade is already setting up. He's headlining like, like look at how lame look, everyone is. I get it. They're lame. They're Here lame. They're all being and lame see, together see, at look, once. Look, yeah. look at. You, if I put them all in one room, even you will agree this premise is necessary. Right. Right? Right. We gotta, Otherwise, we why gotta we do here? something. Like, look, all these look, assholes look are brought together by Abracadabra? God <laughs> damn it! Why do you keep saying that? Are you calling the cops or something? No! <laughs> so they blow up these areas, and the fire that they produce is, like, unimaginable. Mm. Way bigger than what they expected, and they become these huge pillars of fire. Ah. Uh. Which the Justice League can see from space. Sure. Oh, they're also consumed by the flames and die. <gasps> what? Whoa. Yeah. No, we kill the rogues gallery right off the bat. Boom. Done. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. By the way, what they wanted, because the whole thing was, it's a deal. Right. right they made a right, deal. Right. And Abracadabra set it up for them. He was the broker of the deal uh -huh. between the rogues gallery and this our, our mysterious new villain. Yeah. And the offer was, do this for me. Blow up these locations and I will give you your heart's desire. And the rogues gallery heart's desire collectively was... Was to die? No, no, it was to be remembered as total badass awesome characters. What? Yeah, like they want to be <laughs> known as desire. cool. I guess that's why they're supervillains. Yeah. That's not what supervillains want. That's what these supervillains want. A lot want. of supervillains want that. They yeah. just don't admit it. Oh. So they're, they're consumed by the green flame that is inherent throughout the marketing of this book. Uh -huh. And they just, they are, they are just torn asunder. And they're like, oh, this wasn't part of the plan! And then they go to hell. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then the Justice League is scrambled. Hey, by the way, let's scramble everybody. Oh, and Blue Devil, because Blue Devil is a character what? in this story for no reason. Hey, Blue Devil, yes. you stay here and guard the base. And he's like, You're we'll, lame. We'll Sweet, do. I finally get to be on the team. No, stay here. And then, no, that's part of the team. What's great is Blue Devil's looking out the window. And he's see, because they can see, you know, the fire from space. Yeah. And Blue Devil is like, Wait a minute. Those <laughs> five points. Line. If you draw lines, you get a pentagram. Okay, Blue Devil, your <laughs> name has devil in it. You always think that. You're always seeing those patterns. No, because Blue Devil, remember, is not religion based, right. nor is he a devil. He is an actor, an actor who's wearing a costume that, that was that alive, that was enchanted and yeah. made him stuck in it. Yep. So he's it's actually just incredible special effects that don't wear apart. Yep. That also give him powers. Oh yeah, that's oh, that he also, yeah, I, yeah, I can true. jump. Yeah. yeah. He can jump and he can spear but people with But he's not his... connected to the occult. No. He just looks like that. Yes. 
Although he's drawing a pentagram with his finger, I think he's connected to the cult now. He's just seeing that, and he tells Wonder Woman, and he's like, look at this, look at this. And she goes, who cares? And then leaves. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's probably nothing. So, that, that's, so the, the, the Justice League is scrambled, hooray. So then we meet our protagonist. Who Who's is not, not a hero. You don't know him necessarily, uh, but he's another Flash villain called the Trickster. Wait, our hero is going to be a villain? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, flip well, the script on He's going to have to fight the hardcore villains, right? No, no, no. No, no, because no. Oh, okay. no, 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 it's Mark Wade. He's not a total hack. Uh. That's the thing. Like, I mean, he's a hack for this story, but again, like, he wrote Kingdom Come, and he wrote some really terrific Morley West stories, right. and, 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 and. Mm -hmm. But he's doing, a, he's doing a hatchet job here. Yeah. But... You remember, he's also like... I want to tell a story. And what's amazing is there's like stuff in here and you're like, oh, Mark, stop. Like, there's a chapter in this book. <laughs> Just phone it in, it's okay. No, and he's like, no! <laughs> no, I will not! There's a chapter in this called Seduction of the Innocent, which is like hilarious if you're a comic book fan because that's the name of the book that was released during the time when the U.S. government was doing like hearings on whether comic books mm. were corrupting mm -hmm. the youth. And it's mm -hmm. like, and he's... Yeah, he's like, I'm doing meta comics in right. this in this cash grab stupid thing. But anyway, so tricks but he, but trickster is his big like ha 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 look at this. I'm gonna make you care about the trickster. <laughs> Trickster's another another prank based flash <laughs> villain, of which there are several. There's did he and the Riddler get wow. along? No, they did not. But no. Riddler is A tier, Trickster is D tier. Mm. Uh, in fact, Riddler bumps into Trickster, and Trickster won't even talk to him. He's so intimidated by Riddler and his, <laughs> his cachet. So, what is Trickster up to? He is living in his brownstone, and he's scamming a Chinese food delivery man out of his money. Oh, what a trickster. Because that's the thing. You've been tricked by the trickster. <laughs> no, he's, that's the thing. Is that That's normally what he does. Yeah. And his costume normally is super garish and horrible. Hmm. And it, it, he has a whole like rubber chicken motif, you know, because like you use those in pranks in oh, the 1930s. Yes. And <laughs> in fact, Mark Hamill portrayed the trickster on the 90s Flash TV show and the CW Flash TV Oh my show. god, I oh, remember wow. that. Yeah. yeah. He's got weird polka dots, right? Yeah, it's horrible. That's right. It is undisputedly terrible. Yes. Yeah, the best portrayal for me of the trickster is in original costume, him on the Justice League cartoon show. So prankster. <laughs> trickster. trickster. There's a prankster Trick. in this. Trickster is a prankster, and there's a character called Prankster who runs into Trickster, but that's but not this related. Is trickster. But yeah. we're Trickster. <laughs> so Trickster, you know, yes, he is an obvious thing, but he also is subtle. Like, he tricks you. And if, you're, if you know what to do with that, you can make him formidable. See, like, mm -hmm. Trickster tricks this guy into taking less money right. for food. Right. What a dickhead. Like, he's more like a huckster than he is a trickster. Yeah, or a con artist. He's a con yeah. artist. He's that's a charlatan. He calls himself like a con artist. He, he, that's exactly what he is. He bilks people out of their money yeah but he still gets away with it and he doesn't do it too garishly when he's not wearing his he's not like costume. tricking right. people out of their lives right yeah ha <laughs> <laughs> tricked you blam no so trickster goes wow he's out we pranked him <laughs> <laughs> so trickster goes to eat his food and he's reading the obituary for the rogues gallery they all get one obituary <laughs> it's like the Literally, the yeah. Keystone Courier is like, we're not going to waste ink on right. one obit for, per character. Right. They all get one. They all die at the same time, well, on the same day, in the same way. Yep. It's one event. It's one event. And the article is well, that's like... that's why it's the headline. That makes sense. Yeah. The headline is, just, is also their obituary. <laughs> so the obit is basically, a bunch of random Flash villains died. They were lame. Like, that's the obit. Yeah. And Trickster's like... <laughs> This is my future. <laughs> this is where I'm going. Why? If I'm I, even lamer than them. I am lamer than them. They didn't invite me. <laughs> and the newspaper said they suck. <laughs> I need to straighten up my act. Wait a minute. The mm. newspaper said they suck. I thought their whole deal with the devil, or whatever it was, yeah, was that right. they'd be remembered as super badass yeah, and cool. We right. haven't gotten yeah. to the end ha -ha, of the story yet. <laughs> no, that was the trick <laughs> on oh. them. Because every heart's desire thing that everyone gets throughout the story, because that's a theme it's in this, a trick. it's a monkey's paw. Oh. Oh, well, you'll yeah, be remembered. You'll get... be remembered forever. As an asshole. <laughs> no! <laughs> Literally that kind of bullshit. But 
Yeah. yeah, actually, I think the rogues are the only ones who actually don't get what their heart's desire was. Everyone else at least gets, gets it, it in some horrible way. Yes. Yeah. Huh. So Trickster gets a new lease on life where he's like, I need to up my game and start going for the big score. It's his whole thing. Mm. So I got to throw away my dumbass costume. I'm going to upgrade my costume. He doesn't have like sharp shoulder pads or anything because it's Mark Wade writing it. And he has a, he has a deep problem with image right. and like upgrading characters with blood in their names and whatnot. So he's like, oh. no, no knee pads, shoulder pads, no sharp pouches. objects, no pouches. The pouches would make sense. You can keep all your tricks in there. I, that, and you know what? It's justified. He gets like a coat. You know, it's just it's mm. just a slight change in okay. his costume. So we've got our protagonist. Now we need our villain. Our villain, obviously, on the cover of the story, boom, here he is, is named Neron. Or Neron. I'm going with Neron, and I'll explain why in a little bit. All right. In Bellarive Prison, which you've seen in Suicide Squad and other yes. Suicide Squad adjacent <laughs> properties, uh, in Bellarive Prison, they house all of these villains mm -hmm. from the DC universe. Right. And Neron does... Neron! Neron! Not Necron! <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not from Fire and Ice Necron, nor Blackest Night Necron. Remember, oh, no. Neron! Can we still say, Neron? I will allow it. All right. He makes deals with people as different people and sets up things in a ridiculously circuitous scheme yeah. to get all the villains to escape Bell Reef Prison. You know, okay. like, <laughs> he makes a deal with a gun salesman and then makes a deal with an inmate within Belle Reve to get that gun and shoot a guard and makes a deal with a guard who is not the guard that gets shot, but instead is a guard who's supposed to be on duty. To not be on to duty. To not be on duty. So, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So is he, he has magic? Uh, he's able to make these magic, deals? Yeah. I'll, I won't bury the lead any further. Neron may, in fact, be the devil. Oh. That's why he's making deals. Right. It's all about making deals. Now, we've seen demonic entities in the DC universe right. before. Satanus, Blaze, Lucifer, Neron. Might be the, the devil. devil. Why? Because Neron leaves the mark of the beast, the 666. Oh. And Mark Wade read a book one time, and he knows that 666 isn't just a catchy <laughs> brand that you can use in Hollywood pictures, it apparently was code in the Bible at the writing to delineate who? Nero. Nero. Yeah. Which is why I'm calling him Neron. <laughs> okay. Because Wade is doing a whole thing. Well, if it is about Nero, it might also be about the devil, and we're going to call the devil after Nero. But it would be too obvious to call him Nero. We'll go with Neron. Neron. Okay. So Neron is the villain, All right. and possibly the devil. Right? Are you all right? That's kind of cool. Okay, Mark right. Wade, you got me there. And right. So, okay. I know where this book is going. The trickster's going to pull out a fiddle, fiddle with the <laughs> devil, and win. Uh, and burn hell to the and, ground. And then the earth will burn while he's fiddling. Uh, precisely. <laughs> no fiddle comes into play whatsoever. Oh. No. Well. I'm sorry. But. Lame. Yeah. <sighs> a, a dullard inmate has his calendar stolen, and he suspects a guard that's mean to him. And so Neron gets the, 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 the inmate a gun, and then he shoots at the guard, but shoots him with an automatic weapon instead of like a pistol. So that when he shoots the guard, he also shoots a power turbine that's attached to the prison, so the power goes out and all the villains can escape. <laughs> and the calendar is not associated with Calendar Man in no, any way? No, no, no. It's no. just that it's, it's actually a calendar featuring a pinup lady from the 40s. Okay. Do we see her? Yes. Is that a reference to something that Mark Raid remembers? It's easily. <laughs> yes, it's a Betty Grable calendar. Betty mm. Garbo. She's a real person, yeah. and she was a sexy lady uh, about 75 years ago, and I don't know why. <laughs> this guy couldn't be any a, a day older than 39, but whatever, so... She's no fuzzy britches, but, you know, we get it. Right, thank you. Anyway, so... The, so the, the devil sets up, like, Rube Goldberg-esque machines. Machinations. Uh, yeah. In order to achieve his ends. That's right. Cool. Is it? But the villains are freed, and they, and they you know, they, they, they wreak righteous vengeance upon their jailers, and then, you know, go out into the night. Well, free themselves. Okay, so this is a all the villains get out, and yes. the heroes have to stop them book. Uh, Kinda, yes. Mm. Yeah, it's like it's like we're gonna nightfall up the whole damn DC universe. Yeah. We're gonna bust open the gates of Arkham and unloose everyone into tie-ins galore. Yeah. So sweet. So Rainbow Raider. Oh, there he is. Hooks up <laughs> with the trickster. 
Because Trickster is like, I am all about the next big score, the biggest score. Right. And, and so score Rainbow Raiders, that? it's nebulous. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm he, working on it. No, no, he, it's it's the big score TM copyright. Like it's <laughs> it's whatever it is, I'll know it when I see it. Right. The big score. Yeah. So Rainbow Raiders like, okay, Trickster, come on. And I so, like the fact I, the jacket. Good yeah. Move. Right. Get rid of the pants, man. The pants are the only thing that connects him to being the trickster. That's, that's I got, part you of You've got to have those pants, man. Otherwise, I'm not well, the trickster Well, he's still holding that rubber chicken. I'm just some guy. The chicken, too. He's then, choking it. You see, that's the thing, is if he were choking his chicken without those trickster <laughs> pants, he would just look like a pervert. <laughs> so, trickster and Rainbow Raider go to this armored car. The armored car has no less than $200,000 in there. Oh. And trickster's like, are you shitting me, Rainbow Raider? Dude, Roy, I told you I wanted the big score. This is a this is an armored truck. There's that, one truck. It's one truck with like a couple hundred grand in there. And Rainbow Raider's like, I, it's this seed. is a pretty big score for me, man. I don't know. Well, he's like, it's seed money, bro. Like, it's right. about you're leading. You're gonna buy the equipment. See, you, this is the this is why this is score. not one shot, no. man. You gotta build. This yeah. is why you're the trickster and I'm Rainbow Raider. Okay. <laughs> this is why this is why you're teaming up with me and I got visited in the night by a spectral being that gave me a special candle, and. Trickster's like, what? Uh, what? So Rainbow like, Raider reveals... Man, what color are my pants? <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so they go atop this clock tower where Rainbow Raider reveals to Trickster that he was visited and has a special candle. And that he's supposed to light this candle at a particular time, at a particular place, and he will coordinate with all these other villains who also have candles, and then the big score will happen. And so he's like, all right, thanks. So Trickster, like, leaves. He's like, enjoy playing with your candle. I'm going to go choke my chicken. <laughs> so Trickster leaves the Rainbow Raider. Yeah. And Rainbow Raider opens up the special ornate box the candle came in and is replaced with the rubber chicken. Trickster has stolen oh my the God. magic candle from Rainbow Raider. Oh. <laughs> okay. So Rainbow Raider <laughs> is now lamer than the Trickster. So Trickster lights the candle... And we see, like, oh, like, look at that. We don't know. We never get to see this kind of green. Yeah, that's a green like I've never I, seen I, it before. I, I, I was convinced I have tie-ins from Underworld because there were over 50 of them. I had to have had at least two. And I, I looked high and low through my back issues. And I couldn't find any. Wow. I really wanted to show you, like, the effect that right. this green had. This is this pales in comparison <laughs> to what the green effect looks like in, in person actual... on newsprint. Right. So, when Trickster lights his candle, he is then transported to hell. Hell essentially is just like a it's dimension like a or a cave. It's just like a big black area. Yeah. It's a it's a easy to draw location. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing like very far in the background. It's no. not like, you know, waves it's and waves of tortured souls and things. Yeah. You'll see some rocks. It's like space. Yeah. It's like a planet on original Star Trek. Right. Where there's just some rocks. But even lazier. Around. Yeah. So, Trickster arrives and he's like, oh shit, look at all the big leaguers and me. <laughs> so, he, so they all lit the candles and they all got transported, transported here. here. And what's great is Trickster then treats you to like a three or four page rundown of all the villains he sees and what they're all oh about and God. Trickster's interpretation of them. And how, this like, is the revamp of the villains. Well, he's showing you who the villains are, right, who, who are in need. Yeah, they're setting up the revamp. Like Gorilla yeah. Grodd, Copperhead, Cheetah, Killer Moth. Killer Moth? Yes, yeah. Killer Moth. Who Mark Wade has utter disdain for, I think is kind of neat. Killer Moth is just a dickhead in a, in a, in a Zorak from Space Ghost costume, but <laughs> he swears it's a moth. And uh, as I recall, I think he debuts around the same time as Batgirl. Okay. But I, I always I always have like a weird kind of like nostalgic affinity for Killer Moth. I don't know why. It's purple and orange. He sucks. Like, he sucks. And <laughs> no Moth's one has ever sucks. done anything good with him. Yeah. But I kind of dig the look. Don't worry, he gets super revamped. There's a character in here called Crazy Quilt? Crazy Quilt, yeah. <laughs> he has a crazy quilt, you see. And you're telling me that this guy ranks above Trickster. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What's great is Mark Wade references the fact that he's like, I needed to take some of these characters off the board, lest DC editorial and some young buck writer from Image shows up and goes, Crazy Quilt, he wears a moving quilt made of human flesh. <laughs> like, <laughs> he knows what's exploitative and stupid. Right. So, 
That that would be crazy. Yeah. So then, yeah, right. Mm. So then, Neron shows up, and he's like, "Ladies and gentlemen, behold! It's, put your hands together me. for me." <laughs> That's literally it. And they're all Sorry, like, "I'm my own hype man." Yeah. Oh, God. He's... And, and there he is, and he is <sighs> everything that you would expect from this year. Giant muscles, silver, yeah, spiked shoulders. I mean, if I mean, that's, I guess that's just the it's, cloak. It's just the like cloak peeking I, up. I would, if the devil were going to get into the supervillain game in 1995, he'd look like this. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. half Lex Luthor power suit, yeah, mm-hmm. and half Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. So he hmm. reveals, like, I've got plans. Here's my emissary, Abracadabra. Who is also a supervillain, and I, I I visited him too, and so he's like carrying out my bidding for me. Why abracadabra? Because abracadabra needs this. <laughs> so in order he's to, happy to be along. I didn't yeah, have to pay yeah. Much. Well, and because the big power players, because we got Riddler and Cheetah and stuff like that, who are here. Sure. But before I called all of you. I created an inner circle of other villains who already took my deal. Mm. These include Lex Luthor, the Joker, Cersei, Dr. Polaris. You you like them. You look up to them, right? And Trickster, of course, like, oh, shit, the Joker's here. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in on this anymore. Right. It seems this Every is time dangerous. he's in on it, someone dies, and I don't want to be that person. Well, this is the line. This is the book. If anyone's ever like... I've heard this Joker line before. This is where it comes from. When villains want to scare each other, they tell Joker stories. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Way Pretty to pick good. a guy no one wants to be in the room with. <laughs> Joker does not do anything fun or interesting in this story. I'm just he's forewarning just you. There. He is he's there. The he's there to be a power for... player. Yes, he's a power player. He's yeah. just... And of course, when they all reveal what their heart's desire was, like, Joker's is a joke. You know, Joker doesn't, like, get Batman or something. Right. You know? Well, that would be funny. Lex Luthor, of course, at this point was dying and, like, was part of... Like, he was he was malformed and horrible. So his deal... Make me look pretty for my death. Yeah, but doesn't With get his hair, hair back. He, <laughs> no, you got that already. When Superman died, you had, a, you, had, you had nonstop hair. Even I can't help you there. I'm the devil. So he's just like, I can give you your heart's desire if you give me your soul's. Okay, which I guess means, like, they have to do what he says. Yes, they have to. (laughs) Well, no. It's like, give me your soul, and I'll grant you your heart's desire. With everybody else, there were deals. And this is the, and the deal that he's offering them all is, like, you know, go be be a badass. Essentially, he asks them what their heart's desire is, and conveniently, everyone's heart's desire happens to involve a sweet 90s revamp (laughs) and a rad 90s attitude. Well, the first person kicks it off. They're like, all right, I want to look cool. And that person's like, next person's like, yeah, I want that too. Me too. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And it just coincidentally happens that that's what Neron wants anyway. Right. So So it all works out. It all worked out. Uh, Also, Mongols there. Oh. And Mongols like. Heavy hitter, right? Yeah. And Mongols like, this sucks. (laughs) Mongol needs no upgrade. Mongol out. I'm like an alien. I'm not even sure why I'm here. A lot of aliens are in this and have souls. But. (laughs) Mongol's like, yeah, pass. <laughs> Not only pass, I'm going to kick your ass. And then oh. Neron, to show how badass he is, yep. kills Mongol and takes his soul. Oh, shit. He's Look, Shang Tsung's his motherfucker. Say, like, Shang Tsung? <laughs> I'm getting your soul one way or the other. You're going to get something in return, or you can get beat. Yep. yep. That's right. What do you want? Yeah, he literally, like, he pounds him into the ground and makes fun of him. He's like, dude... Superman and Green Lantern have felt the end of your boot, and you are no threat to me. And then snaps his neck and then pulls his soul out, and they're like, oh, that's the green that I see everywhere. Is that the flame, too? Don't think about it. Yeah. Uh, Are those people souls? (laughs) No. Well, we just wanted to get that green in everywhere we could. Get that green in there. A bunch of characters like Poison Ivy and Riddler and other characters that have no need for an upgrade go, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. So they extinguish their, their their candle, and Neron's like, "Go be lame, then. You deserve it. Enjoy Wait. obscurity." <laughs> so, oh, it's because awesome. Mongol attacked Necron, I assume. Yes. Okay. Because I'm like, he yeah. just killed Mongol. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, you Mongol... don't. You don't say you're out at that point. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. It's <laughs> yeah, not like sure. That. Whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So. Now you have an option. I'm not a monster. Yeah. 
I'm just the <laughs> devil. All I'm saying is he attacked me first. It was self-defense. Exactly. Yeah, it was self-defense. So, so, okay. Those are the villains that Mark Wade or Editorial has decided they're okay. Don't touch. We poison. don't need to revamp. Them. Don't touch any of Batman's villains. <laughs> right. They're already cool. <laughs> enough <laughs> literally that <laughs> we already proven that batman's villains sell we're making batman movies starring them right and we had a batman event which literally showcased every single last one of them we're good right so but all mean, the rest of you uh-huh you're gonna get changed that's right but joker takes the deal right joker does well, take the deal. yeah yeah i'm assuming he doesn't come out of this revamped no yeah he didn't ask for a revamp right what did he oh no he asked for the joke right no a thing that was a joke, no? No, well, the joke was a box of Cuban cigars. That's ah. what Joker's heart's desire was. Right. That's what he says. It right. Because <laughs> I'm just crazy. No! Like, I don't care about anything. Exactly. Yeah. Took okay. the deal because fuck you, I wanted to see what this all was about. Right. I'm not afraid of anything. Literally, like, like I'll the, beat you in the end, so, like, whatever. The inner circle is, like, talking, and they're all sharing their heart's desire, and they're like, what'd you want, Joker? He's like, oh, ho, ho! And Luther's like, a box of cigars? And Joker's like, they're Cubans! <laughs> See, These that's are hard funny. to get. It is, is funny. That is a joke. That is funny. So everyone gets their revamp. They're utterly <sighs> forgettable and who gives a shit revamp. Uh oh. Like Killer Moth literally becomes a moth monster. Oh. Not the Mothman. That's nope. what I always wanted. That's what I've always wanted. I wanted to look like a horrible <laughs> freak. I want to be disgusted. <laughs> yes. Sweet. Like Copperhead gets a, a, a costume design. Well, now I don't nice. look, look like a. What is it? King Cobra or whatever from it is. G.I. Joe? From G.I. Joe. Yeah. So they all get their revamps, and he's like... Oh, Cheetah gets revamped? Yeah, she just oh. looks more hot. <laughs> you know, like, she's less like a cheetah and more like... Oh. More, more, more like Cheetara. <laughs> so Necron's like, now go! Go, my pretties! Fly! <laughs> and do what? Wreck up the DC Universe. Rough them up. Yeah, go, you're all go into super your own, powerful. Go right. off into your own books. Yeah. Go off and be <laughs> go in off the tie-ins. Into your tie-ins. Go make me money. Create 54 tie-ins for me. Bingo. So Trickster's like, this sucks. I'm leaving. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I am out. And before he can extinguish his candle, Neuron shows like, oh, you think it's stupid, huh? <laughs> he goes, how do you think you got the candle, man? You think Rainbow Raider deserved to be here? I knew you were going to trick Rainbow Raider out of the candle. That's why I gave him the candle in the first place, man. You see, I like you. You're like me. You trick people. You make deals all the time. Like, come on. You're part of my inner circle. I got an inner circle. That was for the, that was the show circle. <laughs> that was to impress the other guys to get them to join up. Mm. You and me, we're partners in this. And then Blue Devil shows up, and he's like, hey. <laughs> and everyone's like, um, he's got a candle? How yeah. the hell did you get here? Neron must have given him a candle. And Blue Devil's like, I'm in. Because I don't believe in God or the devil, so I assume you're some kind of like alien or whatever. <laughs> and so I would like my acting career back. I want to be a, I want to be a movie star again. <laughs> you don't want the costume off. You just want to be an actor. <laughs> yes. That, God you did, did not it, think Blue that devil. went through, Blue nope. Devil. Nope, nope. So we probably figured, well, in order to get my career back, obviously the costume will have to come off. I'll get two for <laughs> Why one. Why would you assume that? So Blue Devil's <laughs> job, the thing he has to do, is blow up a swishing station. Okay. Blue Devil scopes it out. He makes sure everything's on the level. It's abandoned. There's like redundancies nearby. Right, he's like, it won't actually Like, I'm going to blow this up, anybody. but like, we've also got other power stations that are going to take over. I'm, right. I'm a superhero I'm sure all. the devil asked me to do this for no reason. Like, well, it won't to show my resolve impact. or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't believe he's the devil. Right. So Blue Devil blows it up and he's like, start him, here I come. Wow, Blue Devil sucks. He sucks, Bon Toast. So <laughs> we just let you into the Justice League and this is what you do? He, he may have already been there for a little while. Mm. You know. Oh, no. It was the 90s. Trickster's are kind of like skulking around in the background, avoiding the inner circle. And Neuron's like, okay, I'm out. I'll leave you guys to your own devices. Bye. And then well, the inner circle sees Trickster and they're like, hey, what are you even doing here, man? And they, who they let you in. And they all haze him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, man, are you sure you belong here? Yep. They they mean girls him. <laughs> and what, they, what they're doing, in fact, they're not just doing it for fun. Oh, although Trickster, they're you're so... Funny. I love how you can just wear anything and think that's a costume. <laughs> You're so brave. So, <laughs> so they, so they, 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 they torture him essentially, because they're like, 
How come Neron keeps cozying up to you? I'll bet you even know the source of his power. Because we only took the deal because we were going to kill Neron and take his power away right. from him. Right, yeah. And he's like, I, I don't know. He didn't tell me that. And like, come on. Yes, he did. And so they just like keep, keep badgering him until he goes, okay, okay. His power is in his soul jar. I looked high and low, and I could not find any reference to Trickster knowing that there was a soul jar in any way. But there is, and they go to it. Wait, oh, wait, I thought he was lying. Correct. Yes. I thought that was a lie. Yeah. Well, it is kind of a trick. It becomes a trick. But, the, but, but there is the, actually a soul jar, though. But there really is a soul jar, though. Oh, by saying it, it made it true. Yeah. <laughs> so they go to the soul jar, and they figure out, like, okay... We need to be careful with this. If we can crack the soul jar, we can take possession of the soul. That, that must be the source of powers. All, every soul he gets augments Neron's powers. Okay, but he's getting... So, you're acknowledging that he is collecting souls. Oh, yeah. No, they're on board for that. They, they, they get so, that. like, this is the devil. <laughs> yeah, one devil is as good as the next. We've whoa, met whoa, whoa, whoa. Satanus you, and Blaze. Like, we know. You Look, think you're going to best the devil. Defeat him. In his own realm. Right. He yes. may be collecting souls, but that doesn't make him the devil. Right, he's right. just a devil God collects or whatever. That's like thing, 11 yeah. of them. Yeah, but he is the god, though. <laughs> Other people, I'm sure, have souls or use them. You think? I mean, what, based on what logic? Yeah, what, like, what other like characters control like, you know, souls? Fuck with souls and, like, you know, speak know. to the dead and shit. They can speak to the dead. I don't think they collect them in a jar. They so, might. Like a sweet jam. <laughs> the, yeah. Does soul Hellblazer Jenny. collect souls? No. Constantine? What does he do <laughs> yeah, with the can souls? He, can he take someone's soul out? I, I doubt it. Okay. So, Neron leaves. He goes topside to start to corrupt the heroes. So, he goes to Flash, Wally West. And he's like, hey, man. And Wally's like, what the fuck? And he's like, if you give me your soul... I will bring Barry Allen back from the dead. And everyone's like, whoa, whoa Wally, let's not be hasty here. <laughs> if you just wait a couple more years, that'll happen all by itself. But uh, he shows Wally Barry. He's like, you know, Look, he, he's right here. he died, but like in kind of a nebulous way. Like he might not even be dead. He might just be someplace else, which I like that because that, yeah. that is not where Jeff Johns got the idea <laughs> to go into the Speed Force to get him. But... Nonetheless, Wally rejects his offer. Yeah. But it shows that, you know, they're thinking along the same lines. Yes, yes. So, Neron is like, okay, loser. <laughs> and he does that for every hero that rejects his offer. Good right. job, Neron. You're really banging out the superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he offers, to every hero that he offers a deal to who rejects his offer, he turns it around on them where, like, he makes them feel horrible. <laughs> That's it. Just It's not enough they say no. He's got to, like, right. make them feel bad about yeah. it. Yeah. So, the, the villains go to the soul jar. Behold. It's not really a jar. No, it's more like a big glass cylinder. But yeah. in any event... Uh, you know, for scale, yeah. it's a big jar. So It's got to hold a lot of souls. It, it, it is the devil. He's going to collect a lot of souls. So, Polaris and Abracad... Everyone but Joker and Luther are like, okay, how are we going to get this thing? And Luther's like, Joker and I actually had an idea. And what we're going to do is we need to, I'll do the calculations, and if we use all of our powers combined, we could crack that jar, collect the souls, and then use its power to overthrow Neron and, and, and split it five ways. What do you, how, how are you going to collect souls? They're going to pour out of the jar. We're going to grab just gonna them. We're just going to grab them? Well, yeah, I'm going to breathe in deeply. No, no, no. Is that one of your abilities well, to got, control souls Polaris or contain them? can use them his with magnetic the... powers. Cersei can use her power oh, souls over magic. These are souls. I mean, if they can be collected in a big glass jar, it stands to reason they can be funneled through some other glass means of some kind or or, or, or any other number of ways. I assume Presumably there's magic, magic on the jar. Sure, magic, but Cersei is okay, here. Okay, so Cersei is going to collect the souls. Well, everyone's going to help out. So, In what way? I don't understand. What's well, Lex Luthor going to do he's gonna, to corral He's going soul? to use math and tell everyone how to do it. And what's Joker going to do? He's going he's gonna to play play cheerleader for Luthor. Like, literally the two of them. <laughs> and Polaris' magnetism. How's that going to help well, with souls? Listen. Uh, what's Abracadabra it, doing? Far be it for me to question the methods of Lex Luthor. <laughs> right. Renowned 12th level intellect. Right. Abracadabra, by the way, has magic, but it's not really, it's like future technology that like, <laughs> is magic to our eyes. So I see. he uses his future technology to help with the others. I was going to say this was all a, a lie. 
Luther is getting all of the others to break open the jar so that he and Joker can steal them. Right, which is, of course is what, what happens That's his plan, yeah. and of course Joker's going to steal it from him too. <laughs> right, no. So when the villains go to, a, to, go to break the jar, we see Luther and, and, and Joker at like a lectern that is made from the very foundation of their realm. Yeah. And, you know, they don't have like a computer or a calculator, but thankfully Luther has like an ancient scroll and like a fire pen. I guess this is like, <laughs> I'm going to need some supplies, Neron. And he's like, here you go. This is how it goes down here. <laughs> This is our version of a computer. Yeah. So well, he's like, it okay. just conjures it for you. Yeah. So literally he's like, okay, so I'm going to need more declination from you and I'm going to need you to, Cadaver needs to like manipulate ley lines to uh, align this thing. And so he's like, okay, yeah. And he's like sweating and it's just like, it's, it's just right, harder. It's a lot of exertion. Yeah. And then the, the jar cracks and then everyone who was near the jar gets sucked into the jar. Luther and Joker mm. high five each they other. They knew yeah. it was going to suck people into the soul jar. But only within the general vicinity of the jar. And then the jar his, heals itself? His yeah. 12th level intellect taught him that. Sure. But you do get a hilarious sequence where Joker goes like, oh, ho, ho, and then Luther and he high five. That's awesome. And then uh, Joker <laughs> offers Luther one of his cigars and they just smoke and revel in their crapulence. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah. they would do, I that's guess. Fair. I, don't, Fine. I don't know. And that's when Luther's like, you know, these were good cigars. Yeah. And then it blows up in his face. And right. Joker's like, <laughs> that's no. the joke. <laughs> Which he could have done because it's Warner Brothers property. So <laughs> the two of them just have conspired. Meanwhile, that's all being watched by Trickster, who is being watched by Neron. And Neron's <laughs> like, so they betrayed me. Nah, see, that's why you're on my team, buddy. <laughs> by the way, you are such a team player and you're so cool. Like when we, when, when it comes, think about what your heart's desire is because I'm not even going to take your soul. I'm just going to give it I'm to you. I'm just going to give it to you, man. So just, I've collected so many souls today. I'm, I'm yeah. over my limit. I am riding high. So you just think about what you want. I'll be back. My quota is good. So uh, I don't understand. What's he done? Trickster hasn't done anything. He, well, no. He, he, he told them about the soul jar. With yeah, the villain. He, see, that's the thing. Yeah, is he that, did give away the soul jar that he didn't even know about. Right. Way to go, man. Way to think on your feet. You're like me. You came up with that whole yeah. soul jar thing, and then they and then and you knew they were gonna betray each other. Like, oh, that's why you're gonna get your heart's desire. And I'm not even gonna take your soul. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, none of what you're saying right now makes me trust you. Literally, trickster's like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm okay. trickster. I'm lame. But I am after that. Big score TM. Mm. So we see Batman gets visited by Neron. Mm -hmm. Neron's like, hey man. I bring your parents back. No. 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 Jason Todd. It's Jason Todd. Oh. He's like, man, I can't believe how bad it was when Joker crushed your small child partner's skull in with a crowbar, which is a misunderstanding of what happened. And everyone does this, including the three Joker story. Which is that everyone assumes that Joker kills Jason Todd with a crowbar because a crowbar is more iconic than in a bomb. But in A Death in the Family, Joker hits Jason repeatedly with a crowbar in the face. It messes him up. It messes him up. His face is really grossly drawn. But not only is he still alive, but still cognizant of what's happening around him is dexterous enough to untie the knots in his mother's bindings and try to save her by jumping in the way of the bomb's blast, thereby taking the brunt of the explosion so that his mother would survive long enough to relay what happened to Batman right before she died. Right. So no, everyone, <laughs> Joker did not kill Jason Todd with a crowbar. He incapacitated Jason Todd with a crowbar. Right. The bomb killed Jason. <laughs> if it was just the crowbar, Batman probably could have saved Jason Todd. Now everyone else likes to talk about how, well, maybe he had brain damage and that's why he's such a jerk now when he got resurrected and stuff. And it's like, whatever. What? Lazarus pits and crap, so don't even start. <laughs> but Mark Wade thinks that he got killed with a crowbar and never does too and he's the devil and saw it happen but whatever but because he makes a point of saying <laughs> that the sound that the crowbar made was probably not quite like a pumpkin being smashed and then he brings jason todd oh. into the bat cave as robin and he's like you all you got to do to bring him back and undo your greatest mistake is say yes and batman's like no and he goes fair enough and then he takes jason away 
and then he plays a sound that is not quite like a pumpkin being smashed. Mm. And Batman's like, damn it! Batman gets oh, another- I didn't need to hear that! Batman gets another tie-in with this, and it's horrible. Uh, but Superboy, a.k.a. Connor Kent, a.k.a. con L, the clone yeah, at this point, yeah. He is like flying around. Neron comes to visit him. I read a summary of this story not too long ago, which said that he was offered a soul because he's a clone, doesn't have one. That is not. I got so many, man. Yeah, that's not what happens. I, oh. I was just like, you just, that's not even, that's, that's not right. That's not correct. He just offers him the chance to be Superman. Oh. And he's like, no. <laughs> and so he's like, okay, bye. Okay, so he he goes to every hero. They all turn him down because, of course, except no, for a few. Gotta be, oh, some of them. Yeah. Say, there's got to be at least one. There's three. Hawkman. Oh. Uh, Hawkman had just been cleaned up thanks to Zero Hour, and he's like four different people, so they just merged all four people into one person. Yeah. And Hawkman's like, I would like my continuity less confusing. <laughs> Essentially, that's what he asks for. Okay. The Ray, who's a new character rel relatively to this event. Right. Uh, he, he gets something, God only knows what it is, and the Spectre <laughs> also takes the deal. The Spectre takes the deal? Yes. I know you're not the devil, I'm the Spectre. No, he should, and he knows, and he takes it anyway, and he wants to get rid of his host, so he offers the host's soul to be freed of like the, his human component. Oh. Also, a totally lame and annoying character that no one liked called Triumph. Uh, Triumph takes the deal because, of course, he does. Because nobody likes Triumph. Was that uh, <laughs> the warrior? Yes, Guy Gardner, the warrior, of course, is offered. He says no, too. So does Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> so, warrior, take the deal, man. You need it. He didn't need it. He, he just needed to wait for Jeff Johns. <laughs> like so many of these characters, actually. Wally and, <laughs> and, and, and Warrior. So they take the deal, and so what? When they die, they'll go to hell? Yes. And that's the only consequence? Yes. Spectre's like, I'll take it. Does that happen? Yeah, I can't deny my soul. soul. Yeah, exactly. This other guy's soul. Is that still Oh, is that canon? still in <laughs> No. Okay. By the end of this story, it's not canon. Okay. Well, <laughs> not yet. So We haven't seen them die yet. Right. Right. No, because you'll see. Uh, but... Blue Devil's girlfriend and manager was in a helicopter and they can't see because of the switching station, so her helicopter blows up and she dies. What? Oh. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. This, Suck that, this, Blue Devil. This essential character to Blue Devil's history dies in two pages. That's it. Wow. And Blue Devil's watching the report on the news as it's happening. He's like, damn you! And he keeps getting phone calls and all these messages on his machine that are like, dude, we just want, we, we heard the news about the tragic passing of your girlfriend and manager. She was holding you back, man. I got so many scripts for a big blue fucking oh demon, man. God. All of his offers are because of her death. That's awesome. I like that a lot. That's and they want him to still be a blue demon. Well, I'm just making fun of the fact that he didn't <laughs> ask to take the costume off. <laughs> yep. No, they're just offering him jobs. I mean, I They'll presumably he'll be like, thing. on 902 to an O as a big blue demon monster. And they're like, I love you. So Green Lantern is visited by Neron, mm. Kyle Rayner. And it's all confusingly drawn. Because, he's, of course, he's got green energy and Neron has green energy. But, but look, they're, they're different they're, greens. They're different greens. And if it was newsprint edition, you'd see the green is very dynamic from mm. Neron. Mm. But uh, Neron brings up a refrigerator. Oh, oh no! And oh, he's God. like, your girlfriend is in here, and you can hear her clawing oh. against it. He's like, oh. he's like, that's so lame that your girlfriend was cut up into pieces and shoved into a refrigerator, and everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa! He cut her up? I thought he just <laughs> killed her and shoved, shoved her, her in, in there. there. And no. indeed he did. By the way, oh. they did release the original art, just not too long ago, of her in the refrigerator, dead. Like, because of course DC was like, no. So in the sequence where we yeah. reveal it, there's like, the door's closed, you can see it, like her foot. Yeah, yeah. But like, you actually see it, and it's like, not nearly as horrifying as the implication that she was chopped up into pieces. Yeah, this is I a little shop I assumed she was chopped up into pieces. I it's did not! It's a lot easier to put someone in a fridge if they were in pieces. I thought she was just shoved in there in anger, and indeed she was. Yeah. But like, but no, you rip out all the shelves and you just that's exactly shove them right. In. Yeah, she displaces some of the shelves in the original art. But anyway, oh. so he's like, just open the open the fridge and she'll come right out. And he's like, no. And he like shoots Neron with energy, and Neron's like, ha ha, bye. And he leaves. Yeah, so, yeah it's probably. It's I'm gonna leave be the fridge for anyway. you though. He does not leave the fridge because that would be dangerous. He's got to take the door off first. I'm a little confused. Blue Devil 
took a deal yes. wherein it's a monkey's paw yes. type <laughs> situation because he did the candle thing. Yeah. But these other characters... They're just they're, visited directly they're by They're getting Neil. offered deals directly. So Blue Devil didn't even need to like go to the underground or... Okay, well, he lit the candle dimension. at the same time. Like yeah. He was invited right. by but, Neron. But if he had that. just waited, Neron would have come... Neron... Ne Neuron. 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 It was Neuron. Right. Would have yeah. come anyway and offered him a deal. You Presumably? Would, you would think? He doesn't go visit, like, well, he does visit everybody, so yeah. Theoretically, if he has enough time, he would probably have visited Blue Devil. <laughs> but that's the thing, is that Blue Devil is so down on the list of Justice League that he would have been right. like, like, I gotta oh, make sure man. I get in there. Yeah. No, I'm hitting the A-listers. So yeah. these these handful of people who do take the deal, yes, the like Hawkman, is it also a monkey's paw? Uh, it, it, it should be. <laughs> and yes, yes, right. it is. But we only see the it doesn't it doesn't come to fruition. Well, we it, maybe it does in Italian. Ah, I see. And in fact, it does. I can't believe I'm like what see... horrible thing happens to Hawkman. Like... Yeah, you know, I, I didn't read the Hawkman. Uh, okay. Is it as horrible as what happens to Blue Devil? I doubt it. That's that's pretty, it's pretty bad. Rough. That's real bad. Yeah, and of course there is no Blue Devil book, which is why it happens in right this. in this. Yeah. So Trickster is just watching all this happen, and he's just like. Okay, this is a mistake. I need to stop this. this I gotta, pretty, I, it's pretty fucked up right I here. I gotta stop Neuron. What? But how am I gonna do that? Because I'm the trickster. I gotta stop watching this crystal ball. Yeah. <laughs> so Kyle is, of course, visited by Neuron, and he, and he calls a big meeting with everybody at the Watchtower. Right. And he's just like, okay, so this who else was visited by Neuron? <laughs> Here's the whole rundown. And everyone's yeah. like, okay, let's go kick his ass. And of course, like everyone's like, I didn't take the deal. And like the Ray... Inspector's like... Spectre did not go to this meeting. Yeah, he's, he's... He is the angel of death. He's not part of this. But... Ray is there, and he's like, "Oh shit! I hope nobody notices that I took the deal. I better, I better just, I better just help beat them. And maybe if I help beat Neron, I'll like negate the deal." The deal. Yeah. I was hoping someone would be like, "Well, maybe it wasn't so bad, yeah. you know?" Yeah. Well, I mean, like, come on, your heart's desire is pretty tempting. You gotta admit that. <laughs> you know, some of us got some pretty serious problems. <laughs> and then it's like, I let a child soldier die. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad, but um, <laughs> you know, let's go get him. By the way, throughout the book, I should also point out that Neron keeps like saying. That once he gets the purest soul among you, the heroes, yeah. then my power will be complete. And it, uh, it's, just, it's just a matter of time before I get through to him. And of course, he, 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 he refers to uh, Superman throughout the story. Yeah. And he mentions to Superboy, you know, he's like, you could be Superman. Obviously, he's not here right now. And then Superboy's like, nah, pass. And he's like, well, that's fine. Like, I, 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 I'm going to get the real thing. Right. I don't even watch yourself. Eventually. And so everyone's like, oh crap, Neron has kidnapped Superman, taken him to hell, and we gotta go to hell, kick Neron's ass, and rescue Superman. He practically dangled Superman's soul in our faces right. the entire time. Right. Hey, Blue Devil, how come you have this candle that leads, you, that leads us all to hell? <laughs> Literally, that's what he does. He's like, okay, let's go. I got the candle. And they're like, oh. And he's like, don't ask about that. Let's go. So <laughs> No time! So <laughs> did he get the candle? Neron visited him during the villain conference. The, the initial one with like Riddler and Cheetah and stuff. Yeah, when everyone got it. Now, my, my assumption... Because, well, he just appeared there, but they, he was given... A candle. Why was he the only hero who was given a right. candle? Right. And I, I, I assume it's because... Blue Devil was the only hero who caught wise to the pentagram thing. Oh. And so he, like, sought it out or, mm. like, investigated it in some way. And, of course, Neron knew who's watching, so he reached out to him. Plus, he looks like a devil. It, that's, so. that's, that is branding, man. That is literally <laughs> what I thought initially. And I'm, I'm only, like, 75% sure that's not, that, 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 that is right. <laughs> so Blue Devil's like, let's go. I've got this, like, I've got this, like, half a candle left. So Green Lantern lights it. And they and, and they transport themselves to hell. Whoa, whoa! Now the candle Neuron. can take everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it takes anyone who's nearby, and uh, just yeah. nobody else was nearby with the exactly, other exactly. Yeah. So they start to go. Neron's like, yes, excellent. And while he's like, while he's watching it all happen, he reverts to his original form. Oh. Which we only see silhouetted, but it looks like just a con just a collection of organs and vines and stuff. He's just he's grotesque. He's gross. Or he's swamp thing. He's not Swamp Thing. <laughs> Swamp Thing is not amorphous. This just, guy is just... No, he's he got leg, a... leg, top of body, vines. There's so, some vines in there. But, he's taking on a pleasing form, but really he's gross. Yes. Yeah. And of course, Trickster sees this and he's like, oh my God, that's the devil. That's Satan himself. And I'm yeah. like, no. You did not draw that conclusion because you saw that he was gross looking. <laughs> he does, and that's exactly what happens. Wow. So, 
Oh he no, I'm on the wrong side. I mean, he knew that to begin yeah, with. Yeah, he was already plotting okay, against him. I didn't right? think it was like, like that bad. Like dabbling. literally, who, he's dabbling in souls. You're in hell, man. <laughs> I just thought like maybe a devil. Yeah. Well, like they, guess D what? Devil they or blue all, devil? <laughs> they could all look gross. So him looking gross doesn't actually mean anything either. No, yeah. no. I read in scripture one time that this is the specific this is exactly yeah. what he himself. looks like. He has seven mouths or something. I mean, yeah. like. <laughs> Killer Moth is as gross, if not grosser, than the yeah. devil. Yeah, if you saw Killer Moth, you'd be like, that's the devil. Oh, yeah. that's the devil. So, oh, God, there, the, the devil's there he everywhere. Is. Well, yeah, once you see it, you know. Yeah. So, all the heroes, Wonder Woman, Captain Adam, uh, Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam, yeah. uh, The Flash, Warrior, Green Lantern, Martian Manor, they're like, let's go! Blue Devil, of course. Yeah. They're like, let's go! Um, and so they, what they have to do, and of course, some of your references, like, they're like, I, I haven't read Dante lately, but as I understand it, it's circles. Right. So they have to like break through each level to get to Neron's realm because they assume he's the devil. Right. So well, the candle should have just taken them there, though. Yeah, but it didn't. Well, it took them to so an they gotta, hour. Well, because we got to we got to will down the the the, the you know. The, Look, the, if it's one scene. person and the candle, it'll take you right there. But if it's like so many people, it yeah, can't take it, you so far. Yeah, exactly, well, you lose the signal. It's like trying to cram like twenty people in a car. You're gonna lose that gas mileage. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I, I assume the candle just take them to this place. Like yeah. they weren't in the center of hell. No. When all the villains did oh, the no. candle thing, they, they were, were some other place. No, they were in Neron's realm, which I take to mean is like the first circle of oh. hell or whatever. Uh, but when they get there, are they gonna find fucking trickster? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. All right. So, they, you know, they, they, they're, they're fighting through the horde. Captain Adam and Ray stay behind, and Ray's like, "I gotta do this!" Like, dude, Ray, come on, let's go. He's like, "No, it's gotta be me!" Wait, are they Yikes. fighting devils? Or are they fighting people's souls? They're fighting because demons. They're demons. green, but because okay. yeah, you can see, they're like they're monstrous. So <laughs> they gotta fight through these monsters. Well, they I gotta, mean, people's souls in hell would probably be monsters. I guess, yeah, maybe. That's true. I don't know. So they gotta fight through, and they gotta like break through different levels to get to Neron. And as they break through each level, they lose different characters. Yeah. Uh, Wait, lose? Yeah, like well, characters just get lagged I'm, behind. I'm stuck. I can't get you know. Yeah, or go they're, on. or they're overwhelmed. Yeah. You know, but they don't die because where are they going to go? Right. So, you know, uh, that, that this is when Satanus goes and visits Neron to establish, like, okay, this is not Satanus, it's not Blaze, this is the devil. Right. And Satanus is like, yo, uh, okay, so, like, my sister Blaze is a total B, and so let's betray her. I'll tell you where she is if you don't, like, unmake me. And he's like, okay. So then he brings Blaze, and she's like, you idiot! <laughs> if we had worked together, we could have beaten him. And then Satanus is like, yeah, yeah, we could have beaten him, maybe. No, we could not have beaten Neron. But there is one word down here that would give even Neron pause. And then he is engulfed in Hellfire and oh. Blaze is left. And Trickster is, of course, standing by like the devil on mm. Neron's shoulder. And he's like, oh, mm. a single oh, word, a you word, said. Hey, oh. mm. So the heroes get, like, whittled down. Meanwhile, topside, because of all the souls that Neron has collected and the influence of villains and their souped-up powers, characters like Major Disaster, the whole of the DC topside universe is coming apart. Countries are starting to war uh, you know, oh. go local governments are falling apart. The people themselves are revolting. Like, it's 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 becoming unhinged. It's anarchy. It's hell on earth. So. Right, okay. okay. I like these guys in the robes. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a cult. That's This is a reference to the tie-in uh. with, like, some of the occultists, like the Phantom Stranger and stuff like that. Dead Man. And, uh, so, so uh, if you read all the tie-ins, you would really get a good picture. Oh, of you how get a well-rounded tale. Yeah, that is of how not crazy just, it is. Yeah, I, no, I mean it gives you the scope, it gives you the breadth yeah. of this of this event, and how how far-reaching it is, and how you're like, how is it that this was so impactful, and yet no one remembers or refers to it, and how yeah. diluted it becomes. True. So, oh my God, like th there's like nukes that have to be like rerouted to different locations, and like one of them stuck in like a truck on like the turnpike. Uh oh. You know, and like, the, and it's gonna get attacked by Metallo. So Batman and Robin and you know, Black Canary. Wait, Batman doesn't in. go to hell. No, Batman didn't go with them. He's like, no, I'm good. That's not stupid. Not I am going not to going to hell. I don't well, think Superman's even there. <laughs> I don't think you know this. He My didn't parents, tell me. Not the great P. Not the best of P. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to find out. That, maybe that's it. I'm not going to hell. I don't want to run into my parents yeah. if, in fact, they are there. Mom, Dad, really? We eyes wide shut. Cult. All I'm saying is we're very rich. <laughs> One day this will all be yours. So they make their way through. 
Whoa. <laughs> Martian Manhunter looks really intense there. <laughs> For no reason. He's uh, like that. It's hilarious. Damn! <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. He's like, yeah. They, you know, they're talking about Neron, and, and Martian Manhunter's like, no, shit, that reminds me of a demon on Mars that I remember. <laughs> Why is Shazam's arm in a sling? Uh, in, a, in a previous story, uh, he, he gets his arm hurt. Oh. It's so that when he, like, does okay, he's, he's fixed. <laughs> it's to show that he's not at full capacity. Right. It would be too easy. But he was harmed earlier. Yeah. Okay. So they bust through, and, uh, you know, Flash, I can love it. He just goes like, ah! Because as they get closer to Neuron, as they get th- further into hell, their despair starts to overwhelm them. Mm. Oh they, no, much like, like the Swamp hard. of Sorrows or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't get an Artax scene where like Flash is trying to run. And, and he, he gets stuck and, and he just, just starts sinking. sinking and they're like, Wally! <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> so they get to Neron. Neron's like, hey boys, what's going on? And Lil's like, boo, you're a dick. If I had known that making a deal with the devil would have come to bite me in the ass, I never would have taken the deal. So he tries <laughs> I to- I feel like everyone needs to smack the back <laughs> side of uh Blue Devil's, Blue Devil's head, head, yeah. What, you made well, a he would deal? Stab. What? Yeah, yeah. He gives the whole no, shit to himself. No, he didn't so, say that like it was gonna kill anybody. I love it. He attacks Neron, and literally Warrior and Green Lantern are like, let's go help him. And Wonder Woman goes, no, he's kind of winning. <laughs> no, I think, let's, let's see what happens. Look, if he's kind of winning, you'll definitely win if you help him. But they don't. No, and no, hang course, on, hang on. Let's see if he can do it on his own. Yeah. Teach the son of a bitch to eat my yogurt out of That's the fridge, right. out of the watchtower. <laughs> yeah, there's a label on that for a reason, dickhead. So, Blue Devil tries to beat Neron, and of course doesn't, because it's yeah. not a Blue Devil story. No. And so, Neron kills Blue Devil. He just blasts him with Hellfire, and he's Whoops. dead. And so then the League tries to fight Neron. So the Wonder Woman was like, oh, I guess we should have helped. Yeah. Oh. So, the, the Neron <laughs> teleports himself further into Hell. They blast the walls. They get there. And Captain Marvel slash Shazam is like, okay, you big jerk. Tell us where Superman is so we can go save him. <laughs> and Trickster is like, why does he think Superman's here? <laughs> Superman is not here. Superman's definitely not here. And then... I would have seen him. Yeah. So s- the Justice League, the, the, the stragglers, the ones who yeah. are left, then are so filled with despair and because they have like any feelings of negativity in their hearts right. they turn bad and attack Captain Marvel and Neron what? reveals that no I didn't want Superman's soul Superman's not even here man where because is he? he's in another event called Trial of Superman <laughs> oh literally like he's as just this, preoccupied literally like they were like oh you can't see Superman he's in another event off world, where he got like kidnapped right. by aliens and depowered and put on trial. Oh, I'm wow. really glad you're telling me Superman is not here because when you said that one word trick, I yeah. was like, oh, it's Mixy Spicklick. Oh, yeah. that would have been freaking amazing. <laughs> Man, in an event where they're like, DC villains are lame. Bring it up, Mixy Spicklick would have been freaking amazing. <laughs> oh! oh! So, yeah, the reveal is that like Captain Marvel's soul is the purest, uncorruptible soul. If Neron can get Captain Marvel's soul, then he will be unstoppable. Oh. oh, wow. I thought it was going to be Trickster. Yeah. No, well, Trickster's a dickhead. Okay. It's because Captain Marvel... Yeah, but he's the one that's holding out. He's just like... That's true, that's true. This guy's bad. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's Captain Marvel. Huh. Okay. okay. What, is so, it Captain Marvel's soul or well, is it Billy's Billy. soul? It's, it's uh, there's only six one. Six and one. Yeah. So, so he, the plan was to get him down here with the heroes who will be influenced by the fact that they're in hell yes. and turn mm-hmm. mad uh-huh. and attack him and their combined might yes. might overwhelm Shazam. Yeah, because well, my arm is in a sling, you see. Yes. Right. Well, and they and hold will... him down enough so Neuron can pull his soul out. No, he doesn't want to... He, he, no, he can't resist oh, the deal. He, he has to... He has to make... Make it. Oh. He has to corrupt him. So they got to push him so far that's that he's right. willing to make a deal. That's right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Although, okay, of course, I not... took... It's not a terrible plan. No, I agree. I took Mongol's soul. I just sucked out of his yeah, body. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I wasn't trying to corrupt Mongol. Mongol was already the most corrupt. Yeah, no, he he was he was a corrupt soul. The corrupt souls you could just take. Pure souls you gotta trick. That's I, right. I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> They're harder to get. Let's put it that. Way. Mongol's an alien. It's a different soul. All I'm saying is, if I just I took just it, it yeah. it'd spoil the flavor. Sure. Uh, so, as the heroes are overwhelming Captain Marvel, Blue Devil returns now, totally awesome and revamped because. He died. Where do you think he was going to go? He just <laughs> went to hell, turned into an actual blue devil, and now 
Gotcha. When we revamp Blue Devil in the comics, he has no ties to the actor thing or the costume thing now or the girlfriend hell. manager. He's literally from hell and he's literally a demon. We just fixed the Blue Devil problem. Unless you ask creator Paris Cullens, in which case you've ruined Blue Devil immeasurably. <laughs> nothing about him is Blue Devil. That's right. He's a different thing. Yeah, but now he is. Now he's literally a Blue Devil. Why even keep making Blue Devil stuff? If you've thrown away everything that made him what he was. No, because we like the design. That's it, exactly. And we... I just want to draw that. Uh, but we still but, want to keep drawing him. But I want to draw him differently. Yeah, but I want him I to... Want he still has cooler. to look rad. Yeah. So, Ugh. he attacks Neron, and Neron even... He didn't see this coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so... Yeah, but didn't Blue Devil sell him his soul? So yeah. So doesn't he have to, like, do what he says or something? I guess it just means you go to hell. Right. But you're already there. Right. But, but you're already there. there. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> so while Blue Devil is punching Neuron, Trickster's like, hey, hey, Captain Marvel, come here, come here. And Captain Marvel's well, like, what happened to the superheroes that were punching him? All the people who Neuron got their soul of mm -hmm. yeah. is stuck in the soul jar. Well, some of them. Some of them, yeah. But well, that, that's where Blue Devil's soul should have gone. Uh, yeah. He didn't break the soul jar yet. We wanted Blue Devil to become a literal devil. <laughs> It was well, supposed to be if, a big heel turn surprise. If you're in uh, hell after giving your yes, soul... Yes, and you die there. And you die while you're there, your soul doesn't, it doesn't go in the because jar. Because Blue Devil actually says, you can't kill me in a place like this. Oh, you can't even kill him. Oh, I thought he was just sad. Just like, oh, don't kill me in a place like this. Like, Come on. <laughs> like, where do you want to die, you <laughs> idiot? So, literally, Captain Marvel's like choking out Martian, Man Martian Manhunter, and then Trickster's like, hey, hey, hey. Neron says, there's one word that could beat him here. Please tell me you know what it is, because I don't. <laughs> right. And Captain Marvel's like, oh, I know a word. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> so they throw Abracadabra at Neron. No, uh, he says Shazam, and the lightning bolt goes into hell and uncorrupts the heroes that were part of the cadre attacking Captain Marvel, oh. and, of course, transforms Captain Marvel into Billy Batson, who, like, ran away and hid because he doesn't want them to know that he's actually a little man-boy. Right. So then the heroes go and fight Neron. Uh, Warrior breaks an amulet on Neron's chest, which frees Alan Scott from a tie-in. And now he's part of the team, and he's also revamped and cool-looking. And so they're punching him, and then Billy says Shazam again, becomes Captain Marvel, tries to join the fight, and Trickster's like, wait a minute, dude. I think I've got a way out of this. But we got to think like me, so listen to my plan. And so he, he whispers into Captain Marvel's ear uh -huh. and comes up with a solution. So while the heroes are fighting Neron, Neron gets the upper hand. He, like, blasts them all away with... Great marketable green fire. Yeah. And so they're all defeated. And then Captain Marvel shows up and he goes, Hey, Neron, I've got a deal for you. Mm. And Neron's like, Intriguing. <laughs> yeah. And Neron goes, No. And Cap's like, No, no, no. I will give you my soul. And he's like, For what? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> and he's like, For what? And Cap goes, Nothing. I will give you my soul, but you have to free my friends. You have to let them go home. That's not nothing. Yeah, that's not that's nothing a at all. That's a thing. Well, no, he, he offers that, and he goes, and what else? He goes, no, nothing else. Ah. Just free my friends, and I'll give you my soul. And he's like, okay. Because literally, Trickster's there, and he goes, come on. How many times have you said you can't resist a deal? Come on. Right. Come on. Just take the deal. Just take yeah, it. Just take, take it. Just take yeah, it. That's on. a deal. You're about deals. That's a deal. That's, that's a, a deal. Literally deal. a deal. It's a good deal, man. It's a pretty good deal. You don't have to give up very much. It's a way better deal than Hawkman. You could just go get look, them later. Look, yeah. You said you want one pure one pure That's it. You got it. Yeah. So then he goes, mm, okay. So he takes Captain Marvel's soul, and then it starts to burn him. And Trickster's like, aha! My plan came to fruition, because I theorize that a soul given altruistically is not a soul you can keep. And so the soul of Captain Marvel, or Billy, burns Neron and hurts him so badly he, he explodes. Oh shit, this is like the end of Constantine. Well, it's it's exactly like the end of that Hellblazer book. So yes, Mark Wade read a Hellblazer book. I guess. And then took it. It's, I and mean, it's kind of an obvious concept. Oh, yeah. The only thing is, I don't understand why Neron wouldn't know that. Like, why is Trickster able to figure that out and the devil because, is not? Because there's only more three more pages left of the story. 
Because <laughs> he's got to lose. Because he's got to lose. Trickster yeah, came up with it. Because and Trickster figures out how to the, trick people. You know why? All about because I'm convinced that Mark Wade, like halfway through writing Underworld Unleashed, had the idea for Kingdom Come and has been working on that while this is happening. And he's like, I got oh shit, and then he uh, uh, blows up. <laughs> fuck it. Anyway. <laughs> And the trickster saves the day. Just <laughs> goes out. He's the ultimate trickster. He's even more of a trickster than the fucking devil. Yes. Lol. Isn't that ironic? No. No, it's just fitting. So Neuron explodes, and then the heroes are freed, and they don't know why, because, of course, that's part of the deal that Captain Marvel made in the first place. And also, Blue Devil found his way there, too, I guess because he was part of the deal, you know, even though... Captain Marvel wouldn't have known to bring him back. So, <laughs> whoa, whoa, I said my friend. I said my friend. He's right. my friend. Yeah, He's all not my, my friend. friend. Like, does that mean that all your friends who have ever died come back too? <laughs> like, but they're freed. The the grip on everyone topside has subsided because Neron has been defeated. Mm. So that also means that all the, the, all the, the bad guys should stay in hell. Well, now what what actually happens instead is all the well the 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 only bad guys that stay in hell are the Rogues Gallery. Oh, the original. The original rogues. They spend another year of publishing in hell. And then when they come back, they are revamped because they're so fucking angry for being in hell for a year. <laughs> right. That's That'll fuck you up. You kept up. us? You yeah. dick. Yeah. But all the other heroes or villains that got sucked into the jar, they're just they're free. sent back into the world. And they, keep, they get to keep their revamp because Neron blew up. Right. Trickster is topside. He's back. He gets to be freed too because I guess he made friends with Captain Marvel and so was part of the deal. Anyway, he's free and he's like, maybe I should be a superhero. Maybe that's the big score. And he's like, he kind of dabbles in that for a little while. Ah. Uh, meanwhile, he doesn't get his big score though. The big score was beating the devil. He did get that big score. Yeah. Not the one he like, looked for. He, he but... became the protagonist kind of. Of a big yeah, DC but event. nobody knows that happened. No, but he doesn't he'll get the know. newspaper article. No, he doesn't. But like he, you see, that's that's more mature. He like, mm. he, I don't need the newspaper article. Right. I know I won. Right. And I beat the devil. And maybe like Blue Devil noticed or something. So <laughs> we end the story because like all the here, all the villains are like, woo! I got to be cool. Killer monster, the monster. And <laughs> major yeah, disaster is like because major disaster used to be able to conjure natural disasters like major disaster yeah and then mark wade was like wait a minute what if major disaster like created like you know lesser disasters no like, minor disasters like, triggers like things that cause disasters like he he tripped somebody and that the tripping that person became like it, it snowballs into a major disaster you know like he's like the butterfly effect yes <laughs> yes that exactly yeah. So what? Major Disaster's like, I got my revamp. I have I, I have a sweet new lease on life and my dope powers. And my power is more confusing than ever. <laughs> yes. But I'm always an asshole to everybody. Yeah. And as he's like bebopping and scatting down the street, he catches a glimpse of himself in the reflection of the nearby store window. And he sees that the mark of the devil is still in his forehead. Oh. And so there is a price that like he's going to hell one day. That the villains do get to keep their right. revamps, but they're still gonna go to hell though. Yeah, but weren't they anyway? Yeah, they're they're villains. <laughs> yeah. But Well, maybe there was a chance for redemption, but now there's not. Now there isn't. Like Neron is still out there somewhere, maybe, and that's why the mark is still there. Right. Like, don't think you got out of this free and easy. Yeah, right. you exploded the devil. Where's he gonna go? Back to hell. Exactly. Right. But we'll only find out about it when they die, and then there won't be books written about them, so the readers will literally never see the consequences. No, no. And, and we'll assume that doesn't happen. But we'll know. We'll know. They're going to hell. That's because right. in this book, we see they it. got marked. That's right. Every once in a while, Mark Wade's just going to toss in like a villain who sees like the mark of the devil on I would head. love that. that freaking awesome. It's so if funny. If this was ever called back to by yes. characters well, seeing those 666. Six, six, <laughs> Occasionally, Neron will come back. Oh, yeah? Like, people will actually use him. I am... Shocked. Oh, not within the last 15 years, but like, <laughs> but, but you know, Shortly this wasn't after this the book. only story he was it wasn't in. The, it wasn't the first and last appearance of Neron, All right. I promise you. But I will make a link in the description below this video so you can pick up at least, at, I'll hopefully be able to get you the 25th anniversary collection of this. Because how weird is it that I remembered to do this 25-year-old forgotten DC event for our spooktacular special... Mm. And it's literally going to get a collection. Yeah, like that is... this year. Super weird. Super weird. A month after we recorded this. How bizarre. How bizarre. <laughs> 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 uh, we don't own that. 
<laughs> would we want to? <laughs> we'll see you guys next week with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. So all the people who are writing like Wonder Woman and shit now they gotta draw a fucking cheetah, cheetah like different. this. Mm -hmm. They gotta moth. Well, it's probably Mothman wasn't. I Killer guess her face Killer looks less being used. It looks hat. Yes, it's more woman. Yes. Yeah, her face is hot. Yeah. Now. Now you now you don't feel bad about wanting a banger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's less bestiality and more, and more furry. Yeah. 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 It's a little more ethically uh, okay. I guess. Yeah, well, certainly it beats bestiality. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. She's also got a little more sharpness. Yes. Well, yeah, the, the fur the has sharp, edges. Yeah, the fur is looking sharp. Yeah, I got that edge in there. It's nice. She's a little more orange mm -hmm. rather than yellow. I mean, and really, this is just the marching orders. This is just what Howard Porter is depicting right. as the revamp. Right, right, right. I'm sure other people but did new things the, with them. The, the main Copperhead thing is draw her dumb. different. I hate it. And I, and I don't really like Copperhead to begin with, but once you show me 90s Copperhead, it's like, oh, go back to original Copperhead. No, please. make him the snake man. Come yeah. on. <laughs> some get new bodies, some additional powers or altered abilities. I thought that was Scarecrow. And all of it right? falls under the category of Heart's Desire. It literally just says, and that's all their heart's desire. And all of them just want to sleep. Technically, it is revamp. part of their heart's desire, so it's okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I know. Gotcha. Best thing about this is the Jason Todd thing. Mm -hmm. Ironically, most of people's heart's desire for the heroes will be given to them through the natural passage of time. Mm. Which is pretty freaking lame now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs>